Hello and welcome to this Amcrest support video. Today we're going to show you how to stop all outgoing connections on IP cameras and DVRs and NVRs by disabling P2P in Amcrest view and by disconnecting from Amcrest cloud for a two hour period to stop connections. Amcrest cameras are set by default to open connections to the Amcrest view P2P portal as well as Amcrest cloud video recording service. Both Amcrest View and Amcrest Cloud are hosted by Amazon AWS in the US. All connections and data are secured using Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure and Secure Sockets Layer Encryption. Amcrest is an independently owned and operated United States company with all its shareholders being US citizens. With respect to the Amcrest Cloud connection, each time your camera is powered on, it goes into listening mode for two hours while waiting for a confirmed connection from Amcrest Cloud. If you do not set up your Amcrest Cloud within two hours, the signal will stop. Thus, in order to prevent Amcrest cameras from pinging the Amcrest Cloud server, simply wait two hours without connecting the camera to Amcrest Cloud, and the connections will automatically stop. If you want to reconnect to the cloud in the future, simply power off your camera and power it back on again, and the cloud connection window will open up for another two hours. Moving on to Amcrest View, to disable the Amcrest View P2P connection for your IP camera, you'll need to access the web UI for the camera via a laptop or PC. Please note, the web UI is currently only compatible with Internet Explorer, Chrome, or Safari. Please use only these compatible web browsers to access the web UI for your device. For more information on how to access your camera using Google Chrome with the Chrome App extension, please see the link in the description below to see our corresponding video. Once you have successfully logged into the web UI for your device, navigate over to Setup, followed by Network, then TCP IP. Click on P2P and deselect the Enable checkbox to disable P2P. Be sure to click Save afterwards to save your settings to the device. The process is similar on DVRs and NVRs. Disabling the P2P functionality for your DVR or NVR can be done directly in the device's main user interface. It could also be done via the device's web UI on a computer or laptop. To begin disabling the P2P connection of your DVR or NVR, please follow these instructions. First, make sure your device is connected to a monitor and attach an Ethernet cable to the Ethernet port on the back of your device. Once it is connected, power on the device with a compatible power adapter and allow the device to initialize. Please attach a USB mouse to the unit to navigate through the scenes. Next, once your device has initialized, log in using the login credentials for your device, which are your username and password. If this is your first time logging into your device, the username and password will be admin. After logging in, the main menu will display. Navigate over to the settings menu and click on Network to access the Network menu. Inside the Network tab, navigate down to the last menu item and click on P2P. In this menu, deselect the Enable checkbox to easily disable P2P. Make sure to also click on Apply, and then click Save to save and apply the setting to your device. If your DVR or NVR is not hooked up to a monitor, and you wish to disable the P2P for your device using the web UI on a laptop or PC, please follow these instructions. First, access the web UI for your device using only either Internet Explorer or Safari. Google Chrome is not a viable option for DVR or NVR access. Then log in with the username and password associated with your device. If this is your first time logging in, the default username and password will be admin. For more information on how to access your device locally on a laptop or PC, please see the link in the description below for a corresponding video. Next, once inside the web UI, click on Settings, denoted by the gear wheel icon located in the upper right hand corner, and go to Network, then TCP IP, followed by P2P. In the P2P menu, deselect the Enable checkbox to disable P2P. When complete, click on Save to save the settings to your device. And now you have just disabled the P2P functionality for your device.
Please note that if you have disabled P2P, you will not be able to connect your device to the Amcrest View Pro app via a P2P connection or access any Amcrest View P2P connections unless otherwise enabled. Please see the link in the description below for a corresponding video. We hope this video has helped you stop all connections for your IP camera and DVR or NVR on Amcrest Cloud Recording Service and Amcrest View P2P Portal. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and check out more instructional videos from Amcrest.